And data has shown us that children are much less likely to get seriously sick from COVID, but doctors say it can still happen, and this is another layer of protection. Doctors in our area also say it's an important step toward letting kids socialize with their friends after a difficult year and a half. They weren't able to go to school. They weren't able to, to be with their peers and their friends, and we've seen an increase in stress and anxiety and depression. Some parents are still undecided about getting their child vaccinated, but others are ready to schedule an appointment. KCRA 3's Stephanie Lynn spoke with a West Sacramento pediatrician about his plan for the rollout. Stephanie? Yeah, Brian, Lisa, now he's one of thousands of pediatricians in our area right now who are gearing up to get shots ready for their many patients uh, between the ages of 5 and 11. Now I can also tell you that they're all working to answer a lot of questions from parents here as well. So how are we doing? Good. Good. Six-year-old Lorelai Polez gets her physical at her pediatrician's office in West Sacramento. Mostly I stay with my mommy and my mommy protects me. A job Crystal Polez takes seriously. It's why Lorelai is also getting her flu shot today. Her mom's still on the fence about the just approved COVID vaccine for kids. I'm not 100% in love with it just yet. Uh, so I want to protect it in some way. So she's turning to their trusted family doctor for answers. It's more, just like a flu shot. It's like any other vaccine. Dr. Mark Concepcion has practiced medicine for decades and wants every parent to know. Primary care physicians are equipped. That's what we do every day. We give vaccines. His office, just one of thousands in the Sacramento area, gearing up to get the shots out to children. We've already reserved up to 400 uh, shots for our kids 5 to 11 years old. The vaccines no longer have to be stored in special freezers with sub-zero temperatures, making it easier for offices like this one to get shots into arms. On a regular refrigeration, uh, it was just as good and as effective. This is what the adult formulation of the Pfizer vaccine looks like. Now the child's version is going to come with an orange cap and can be stored in a refrigerator like this one for up to 10 weeks. Side effects, minimal, just like we do with all other shots, maybe a little bit of uh, tenderness uh, pain at the site. The doctor answering common questions from parents about the vaccine for kids. As with other shots, especially the flu, a little fever, you last a day or so, uh, some joint pain, and then they're better. Adding vaccinations can help get kids back into public spaces like schools faster and safer. The benefits of the vaccine is, I think, overwhelmingly better than the risk. Last studies were over 700 kids had died from COVID. You know, it's preventable. It's a preventable disease. Crystal says she's glad to get the doctor's advice, but ultimately the decision to vaccinate her kids will come down to a shared agreement with her husband. And we can also tell you that you can also take your child to get vaccinated at a CVS like the one behind me here in downtown Sacramento or a Rite Aid or Walgreens. All three of those pharmacies will be taking appointments for parents who are interested in getting their kids between the ages of 5 to 11 vaccinated. And those appointments should be opening up in just a matter of days. Reporting live from downtown Sacramento, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News. So Stephanie, you've spoken with a few different doctors covering vaccines. Should all parents expect expect their doctors to have the shots ready for kids next week? Yeah, Lisa, so we did reach out to a number of pediatricians, like you just said, and the expectation that parents should have is no, not every single pediatrician in our area is going to have those shots available for their children. In fact, one doctor I spoke with said that, you know, simply because of a shortage in staffing and a lack of ample space in their office, they would not be offering those shots. So it's best to always make a call out to your family doctor and see if that's going to be offered as an option before we make that assumption. Brian, Lisa, back to you.